How to apply such kind of paper animation effect to your videos, images, stickers and GIFs in the Vinci Resolve within 2 minutes. Let's see how it's done. So it is basically a plugin which is created by Mr. Justin Edis. This is the website to download the plugin and he also has a YouTube channel which is this one. The link to the channel as well as the download link both are available in the description. Also, Mr. Justin Edits, if you're watching this video, big ups, love the plugin. So going back to the download link, all you have to do is click on the free download button, enter your credentials, download the plugin and then install it. Once you've installed the plugin, go back to DaVinci Resolve, go to the effects section on the top left of your screen, go to the effects tab, scroll below and you'll find the plugin, green screen paper animator. Now let's see how you can use this plugin. First thing that you have to do is scroll up and bring in the fusion composition into your timeline. Once you have the fusion composition, scroll below and then drag in the green screen paper animator over your fusion composition and drop it. Once you've dropped it, click on the fusion composition, go to the inspector tab and go to the effects section and here you'll see green screen paper animator. Now there's a whole lot of settings but first thing that we have to do is drag whatever clip or image or GIF or sticker that we have over this. So go to the media pool, I've got this Bully Maguire clip so all I have to do is drag it and drop it over here and then if I play it as you can see, the animator is working. So the good thing here is that you don't even have to remove the green screen, it automatically removes it. Now let's see at the next settings. The next four settings are basically transformed. You can move it horizontally or vertically. You can change the size of it. You can change the angle. You can flip it. So those were the transform settings. I'll just reset all of them by double clicking on their name. Also, remember one thing, you can change the size and everything from here only from the effects tab. If you go to the video tab and try to change it, nothing will change. So remember that if you want to change the transform settings, you can do it from the effects tab only. Next is the edge settings, edge thickness. You can change the thickness. You can either remove the edge or keep it, whatever you want. You can change the edge contrast like this. You can change the edge roughness, how rough you want the edge to be. You can keep it either smooth or rough. And finally, you can change the intensity. So intensity will basically do yeah, this kind of effect. It will go haywire. Again, let's reset all of this by double clicking on it. Then there's shadow settings, obviously shadow offset, how, how you want the shadow to be. You can adjust it horizontally or vertically, however you want it. You can change the softness of the shadow from here. You can either keep it sharp or totally soft. And then finally there's shadow blend, which is attached to alpha. So if I reduce the alpha, it will reduce the opacity of it. It will basically remove the shadow. And if you increase it, you'll have the shadow. And finally, the four settings are of the paper effect. So if I increase the faded paper effect, as you can see this brown, thing that's the paper so if i remove it go back to zero it won't be there and if i increase it it'll be there so resetting it then there's wiggle minimum wiggle maximum it's basically self-explanatory you can change the values here and it will start or stop wiggling so if i basic and also if i make it to zero it won't wiggle but there's also a subtle floating effect to it yeah so that's wiggle minimum and maximum and finally stop motion effect now if i play this video as you can see, it's stopping a bit more, right? So if I smoothen it out, if I go back to one, then it will look like a video. It won't stop as much as before. Yeah, so I personally prefer this. So keep the value to one and you're good to go. Next, we can also duplicate this. I'm going to disable this. And then in here, instead of Bully Maguire, we're going to take a PNG image, which is a transparent image. And now if I play it, as you can see, it has been applied to an image as well. You can also take GIFs and stickers, but I'm just going to show a video and an image. You can go ahead with the latest version. And finally, one last important thing that you need to do before rendering the clip is change this little setting that I'm going to show you. Go to DaVinci Resolve on the top left of your screen, click on preferences, go to the user section and here make sure that this little setting stop renders when a frame or clip cannot be processed is disabled. Uncheck it, click on save and then you're good to go then you can render the clip. If you don't do this setting, the clip won't get rendered. So that was the video guys. That's how you can use this plugin and adjust all of its settings. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such DaVinci Resolve tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. So that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.